This is the Army Today from the Soldiers Media Center. He no longer wears the uniform, but he remains one of the preeminent military experts on the Middle East. Gail McCabe talked to former CENTCOM commander, retired General John Abizade, on the challenges that remain. Dealing with these very difficult strategic problems. Retired General John Abizade, former commander of U.S. Central Command, says the world should be aware of the four main strategic problems that exist in the Middle East. The first area is really Sunni extremism as exemplified by organizations such as Al-Qaeda, people such as bin Laden. It should be very clear to us that it's a, a global phenomenon. It's one that's capable of attacking well outside the central command area of responsibility. He made his comments at the Land Forces Symposium, a gathering of military leaders from throughout the CENTCOM area of responsibility. What else? The next issue is undoubtedly the, the rise of Iranian power under Shia revolutionary extremism. Iranian desires to dominate the region and Iranian ideological activity uh, also presents a, a danger to, to peace and, and uh, stability in the region. Third major issue I, I would say is the continuing one that we've had on forever and it's it's the Palestinian Israeli problem and it, it it's a corrosive conflict that creates hopelessness on both sides of the equation it could ultimately move us to yet another major war in the region the former CENTCOM commander says the most important strategic challenge everyone needs to understand is the need for oil it's vitally important that uh, that be protected and so far it's really the power of the United States, in, in particular our Navy and our Air Force, that, that have to protect that flow. And that unilateral action in the Gil McCabe, Atlanta. Will be something That's the Army Today from the Soldiers Media Center in Washington.